Hello everyone and welcome to Commanding Armor Stance. In this video you're going to learn how to use the in-game commands to manipulate armor stands to create spectacular details in your builds or have guards in your castle. Learning these commands and how they work will grant you many, many possibilities. That is Minecraft after all. Before you continue any further, please like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe if you like gaming in general, and comment any feedback or questions that you have and I'll be sure to review them. I already made two videos on armor stands, but that was in 1.13, so I figured it's time to revisit this in 1.18 and in a more detailed and specific way. This is for Java Edition. The armor stand by itself is pretty basic and in vanilla can only be used to hold armor, hence the name. So there are some commands we should first do so that we can work on them further. For the sake of knowing that you can read, I'm not going to verbally recite every part of the command for you. Just know that what you see on screen as I type is what you should be typing as well. Keeping in mind the capitalization, squiggly and square brackets, colons and commas. Before learning the basic commands, you should first do this, especially when you're first starting out. Type slash data get entity at e square bracket type equals armor underscore stand and then comma limit equals one end of brackets or instead of typing this part you could just look at the stand and this big number thing will appear this is kind of the identification of your armor stand so now we can see all the things we can do in order to execute any command change the get with merge then we use this big number and add at the end whatever it is that we want to do. Let's start by showing the arms. As we can see here, this is what we type. Put a colon in and then one. Make sure it's complete with the curly brackets. The same goes for invisibility, base plate, gravity, small, disabled slots, and invulnerability. And you can always change the number from 1 to 0 to switch which state it's in. Note that while the stand is in the invulnerable state, it can still be destroyed in creative mode. Applying all 8 of these commands at once is also possible. Just add a comma after each state of being. Fire is interesting here. So this number is how many ticks the stand will be on flames. Ticks is a Minecraft measurement, and 20 of them equals one real-time second. With that being said, the highest number that works here, however, is 32,767. Any higher and no flames appear. This baffles me, but maybe there's a good reason. If you're working with multiple armor stands, then naming them is a really good idea. Name a name tag in an anvil and click on the stand. Then change the command to name equals whatever you named it. Very convenient. And items and armor items. These commands will allow you to place items on the stand, usually from a command block. Hand items, if you haven't guessed, puts any item in either the right or left hand. This first set of brackets is for the right hand, and the second set of brackets is for the left. To place anything in the left hand, you need the first set of brackets. But if you don't want anything in the right hand, just set the first item to be air. Armor items is very similar to hand items. Here, there are four sets of brackets. Things get more specific here, with the first set of brackets representing the feet, and is only able to equip boots. The second brackets, being legs, are only able to equip leggings, and the third is the chest, only being able to equip chest plates. The fourth is head, but that doesn't mean that it's only able to equip helmets. Most blocks and items work as well. A weird fact is that though it shows here that this is a cap, while using this command it needs to say helmet. No idea why. The armor stand has six parts you can freely move, that being the head, body, right and left arms, 
and right and left legs. The Fs that you see here are necessary, but I don't know what they mean. Having Ds instead of Fs makes the armor stand pose reset for whatever reason. These numbers can be whatever you want them to be, but 360 is the highest number you do realistically. The first number controls the X axis, the middle number controls the tilt or rotation, and the last number controls the Z axis. Rotation also works in this fashion. However, you can only rotate the stand like this, so it can't do flips, which honestly would be pretty cool. As a result, you only need one number here. Now you can move the armor stand itself to exactly where you want it using the slash TP command. It works the same as teleporting the player. Using that knowledge, you can get the most precise measurement, give it arms, give it an item, turn gravity off and make it invisible. Then teleport it where you need it and adjust arms or legs or whatever and you can make wondrous looking detail. One more feature you should know is that when you go into spectator mode, you can see all invisible armor stands. And I don't really know how to end this video, but uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I'll just stick to my normal in outro, intro, outro, whatever. I need more specific me. This video took way too long to edit. Oh man, it was all over the place. But anyways, I'm signing off. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.